Try this out. That is a minor nine chord, and it's a thing of beauty. Here, try it out this way too. Mm, that's buttery. It's the sound of sadness. It's the sound of somber evenings, watching the rain. It's the sound of cool. Hey, I'm Ian at Soundfly. Today we're talking about a chord that's melancholy, moody, nostalgic, dreamy, and so much more. Yep, that's right. We're talking about minor nine chords. A minor nine chord is what you get when you play a minor triad, add a seventh to it, and then add a ninth to it. The easiest way to make this happen is to do what's called stacking thirds. You take your scale, in this case a natural minor scale, and play every other note. Here's a third, here's another, here's another, and this note right here is the ninth. Just because it's called a nine doesn't actually mean it has to be voiced this way with the notes in this order. You can actually play the notes in any order, like this, or like this, or like this. On the guitar, it might look like this, or this, or even this. Minor nines appear all over the place. Old jazz players love the minor nine chord. They can be achingly blue. They can be smooth and sexy. They can be dreamy and melancholy. That one's missing a seven. So if we're being nitpicky, we might want to call that something more like a minor add nine rather than a minor nine. It's kind of the same idea still. Without the seven, it's a little more open, but it's still got that wistful depth. One of my favorite parts about this chord is that that ninth note gives you a lot of extra richness without really breaking the harmony or rocking the boat too much. Because of that, it gives you, the composer, a lot of freedom. You can choose to add the ninth or you can take it out. The difference between a minor nine and a minor seven, it's just not that much, which is cool. It's another note you can use, you can play around with, or you can move on and leave it behind. It also has a certain dissonance to it that a minor seven chord without the nine lacks. That's because of this major seventh interval that exists within the chord. You can see it here between the E flat, the minor third of a C minor chord, and the D, the ninth. The major seventh is one of the most dissonant intervals in all of music, and it's built right into the minor nine chord. You can play up that dissonance by putting those notes right next to each other in a voicing like this. Edgy, right? For me personally, I tend to add nines to almost every minor seven chord I play. I just love that sound. It's rich, it's fun, it's sometimes kind of tense, it's got a little extra dissonance. It feels good to me. Whether it's a string line, whether it's a chord, whether it's a melody line, that nine can just bring a lot of extra spice to the sound. Okay, try this out. Imagine you're playing a song and it has a minor seven chord in it. Try adding a nine to that. There's a risk you might lead to some muddiness, so it can be helpful to play the nine itself in a higher register, or space your notes out a bit more. Or try this out. Come up with a new melodic phrase over a minor chord, but try emphasizing that nine in your melody. Put that nine in a strong beat, or make it one of the kind of anchor notes of your melody and see what it sounds like. Or try this out. Next time you're playing a song that's got a minor chord in it, try adding a nine in the bass line somewhere. Might give it a little extra jazziness, a little extra smoothness. Try it out. There are tons of options. How do you like to use minor nine chords? Let us know in the comments. The idea for this video actually came from something we do in our Soundfly courses, which is teach you a thing and then challenge you to use it right away. We're hoping to do more videos like this, including explainers and essays and lessons of all sorts, anything related to music. So if you like that, please subscribe to our channel. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.